Welcome to Ephemera Files by Tommy. And today I am bringing this journal to share with you. This is my Paisley Petals journal that I made in conjunction with Dear Julie Julie a few months back. And as I was getting listings together for my Etsy shop to add some new items, this being one of them, I couldn't find a video of the flip through for anything. And I don't know for sure if I even made a video. It may have been lost. I may have done everything leading up to the video and just didn't get the flip through done. So here it is now so that you can see what this journal looks like on the inside. I think I said this, it is called Paisley Petals and it is using digitals from Dear Julie Julie. The cover, let's see the cover, well, the journal itself measures about seven and a half inches by about almost six, five and a half, six by two. The cover is made of brocade and a lace placemat and let's see, and some yellow ribbon here. I don't know what this is. I think it may just even be a polyester ribbon. It feels very soft though. And on this bulb pin on the cover, I have this little organza bag that has a rosebud, a dried rosebud inside, along with some punches from some specialty paper and some little pieces of yarn in there. I have pinned another bulb pin on the front of the bag with some glass beads, another of the punches, and this charm that has sheet music on one side and a washi tape eucalyptus sticker on the back. Over here on this side, this tassel is removable. It is fastened with a skeleton bulldog clip. It has laces and ribbons and yarns and strips of fabric. It has three envelopes on here. The envelopes are held closed with Velcro. There is nothing in the envelopes right now, but they can be removed because they are on bulldog clips. So if you don't want them on there, that's fine. Just take them off. You can tuck your own little bits and pieces in there. I also have these seed beads and these hand painted ceramic beads. And in a couple of places, I have some paper punches that I have glued front and back to different pieces of the yarn. And this one is a paper punch and it's been stamped on both sides before gluing it together. And that comes off easily, goes back on easily. You can do whatever you wish with that. Let's go ahead and open this up. It is closed with this yellow ribbon that is going through the placemat. And this opens up, that's supposed to go over. I don't know why it doesn't stay over. <laughs> the inside has a vellum envelope that has been embossed and I have used some rose gold gilding wax on there. This is a vintage library card catalog divider that I have used some, I think it's Cosmic Shimmer Sparkle Texture Paste, and I have some altered tickets on there as well. Inside this pocket, I have a journaling card with a collage on the back. And this little medallion here, I have a tutorial on how I made that, and I will link it below. Sorry, my voice is trying to do silly things. And that just slides right back in there like that so that you can see some of the images through the vellum that is under the placemat. And then on the back here is another pocket that holds this journaling card that has been stamped. And that just slides right back in there. And now I'm going to tie this right back up and you may wonder why. Well, I do recall that one of the parts of the challenge was to make an interesting closure for my journal. And this was my interesting closure. This slides off. And so it's just, just like that. 
So you can use it as a closure. You can do whatever. I'm just going to lay it to the side right now. And here is the journal. And I have used lots of gilding wax through here. You're going to see the gold and different rose gold and sparkles. This, this journal has a lot of sparkle to it. I'll just warn you right now. Right here on the inside of the front cover, I have this paper that I used some Distress, Distress Mica Sprays spray stains on. And I did use that in several places. And I actually sprayed it on the back of this one and it bled through to the front. I like the way it looks. So I used it like that. I have a pocket here with a journaling card. And as usual, I am going to make a little pile over to the side of everything that's in the journal so you can see what it looks like without all the goodies and stuff in it. This is being held closed by this little round keeper here and it opens up and opens up a little bit more. I don't think I thought that through because it doesn't open and open up any further than that. It's still pretty. I still like it. <laughs> this is sprayed through a stencil that I have and I used that particular technique and the reverse stencil several times through here. I think that this is just a collage up here. There is a tuck spot behind. This is one of Julie's digitals. It's one of my favorites. It's grungy lace. This is another of her digitals and I cannot remember right now the name of it, but I will have all of that linked below. Here I have gold embossed. I just went through and I used embossing powder and heated it up on each of these playing cards and made a waterfall. And each of the cards has journaling space on the back. I need to go through and glue some of my washi down. I think it's just that particular washi because that's the only one that didn't stick. So I will fix that. And then this also forms a pocket with this journaling card inside. Here's some more of that spray that I used. Let's see. I think that this is a double, double tag. Yep, and it just, it's a page hugger is what I call them when they wrap around the side of the page. And it's made out of two flashcards. I have a safety pin at the top of this one with a piece of the fabric. It's been covered with a napkin, dry decoupaged napkin. And inside I have some map pages and some writing space. And there's another little pocket here. I think I know why I didn't make a video yet because I still had several empty pockets. And so when I list this, I'm gonna leave it that way. That way you can fill the pockets as you wish. I may add a goodie back of things that you can use to make things to fill those pockets. This is coffee dyed paper. This is a belly band. There's some more of that sprayed paper. And this bulldog clip is holding this together because this is some antique ledger page and some washi and a punch that is on a piece of cellophane. This is some of my favorite fancy yarn with some little glass beads up on there. And it opens up this way and you've got writing space here. You've got more writing space here with that antique ledger and more punches. And then you've got more writing space in there. So you have a belly band and then a flip out, uh, I guess it's a flip out belly band. 
It's hard to do a flip through when you haven't even seen the journal yourself for a while. It's hard to remember what you've done. This top pocket, top pocket, <laughs> top tuck pocket, that's what it is, holds a notepad that I've just made of various papers that I've stamped and sprayed and stenciled on. But it also, let's see, let's go through this first. I have stenciled it with some clear, is it clear um, texture paste? But it also has a secret pocket up at the top because until you pull on these flowers, you don't even know it's there. And there's journaling space on the inside. And it just tucks right into the top of that pocket. Here I have a tab that's actually an extension of this belly band. There's a sticker that says free as the flowers that I've collaged on and a journaling card. Here, this was a gift bag that I tore apart and I sewed the edges of it together on a piece of paper. There's a piece of lace and a stamp and some little seed beads that are tied onto the edge of the thread. Not, a, it wasn't, it was sewn onto an envelope, excuse me, and it was stamped with gold flowers. I have this journaling card here and this is a coloring page. And here is a double tuck that's created by the top of the envelope that I've accented with the sewing and stamping and more lace. And then these two journaling cards. Here is a double pocket. Let's see if I can remember how this one goes. And inside, I've got this journaling card. And I don't think that's a journaling card. And I think, no, maybe not. I was trying to remember. I thought that there was another pocket. But this just slides right down in there. And this has been embossed and has, let's see, ink, inking for the colors of the vines and the flowers and then some gold glitter splattered on it. Oh, and there's a, what in the world? I am thinking that there was something. There's a tuck right there. There's nothing in that tuck. I may have to put this together and just do another video. No, I'm just gonna stick with this. All right, so this forms a tab as well. And this is the back side of the tab. And it forms a tuck with this cluster. Here, I have, this is avocado dyed paper, and I've used a digital and some washi and some lace, and it flips out to have another signature. This is a page edge signature with some writing paper of various sizes. Plus this can be written on and that can be written on. And I have some little red beads here that dangle off the signature ties of that page edge signature. Here I have created a pocket with some of the brocade and when you get to the edge of the brocade, it fluffs out like this and it has gold threads that go all the way through it. Here is, this is just a piece of metal that I found on the ground. Yes, I pick up things off the ground. I'm careful about it. But if I find it interesting, I'm probably gonna pick it up. And this is just a little note card and I've added this to the top just for some interest. And then on the back of the avocado paper are two more pieces. This one is a journaling card. This is a scrap piece of the coffee dyed paper. This is also made from that same bag that I used on the envelope earlier. And I have a journaling card with some of my fun and funky yarns stapled to the top. And then inside is another journaling card because this top layer is sheer. You can see the image through it. And I have used an eyelet here in the corner to hold it on. Because this was a corner of the bag, I just slid it up on the corner and then added the eyelet. On the back, the bag works the same way. I have a tall journaling card or a bookmark. 
And then on the inside of the sheer fabric, I have another journaling card that says it's a perfect day to start. Here I have a pocket. This is embossed and it's embossed using a technique where you put the watercolor or the marker or whatever colorant you are using on the embossing folder before you emboss. And I really like the image that it left me with. And I have this collage here at the top of the pocket with, I think that this is kind of like a flashcard type math game. Washi tape, a bit of map, a little doily, a sparkly little gem, and then in this pocket I have a journaling card and I think that those are glued in. And then there is a tag or a large card behind that and it's stenciled. I think that this might be an envelope, an altered envelope pocket. Yes, because there's the other side of the envelope. Here this is, like I said, an altered envelope from some junk mail. I made a paper ribbon and then accented it with stitching and washi tape, a little stamp that I made from part of the kit. Let's see, an inking and some sparkly markers. Here is another journaling booklet that just tucks into that pocket. And then I think this pulls, yes, and another journaling card here. Like I said, I haven't looked at this for a while, so I'm still trying to figure out what I did. Here is another cluster. Let's see, yes. And I've also got some, I think that this is packing paper that I have added right here. Here is the center of the first signature. I tied on some of this fluffy yarn and then added buttons and some little tags that have been stamped, inked, and I've got Bright Hopes on that one. And then this one says Happiness, and that has a gold, gold stamped flower on both of those. Stamping on the edge of the page here. On this one, this is an altered envelope, and I think this is a birthday card envelope. And it already had the roses on there and I added this sticker which is from I think a happy planner book and inside this pocket this actually made two pockets this way this is a piece of the paper that I used to cover the inside of the journal with a with one of the happy planner stickers there's the back and then here is another one and it flips up for writing space On this side, this envelope flips, this part of the envelope flips out. I have a lace pocket right here. This has, let's see, is that on both sides? No, it's just on this side. I have a napkin applique right there, and then some glitter glue, adding just a little bit of sparkle there, Some uh, a journaling card, and then another journaling card in the pocket that is formed on the back here. And it says, find joy in today. And this has been stenciled twice, stenciled with ink and then stenciled with gold marker. And then I used another gold marker just to add some dots and a washi sticker and a little gem. And that's backed on my Spotty Dots coffee dyed paper. Wow, there's a lot in here already that I have forgotten. All right, this is a pocket. I'm gonna have to sit down. trying to figure out if that nope it's not okay I think I remember this pocket how about that I think I remember this I fussy cut around the digital image here that's why this whole thing is glued down because that's all one piece of paper and I just used my craft knife to fussy cut around that image to create a pocket I glued that part down and around the edges on this part. This says, let your ideas bloom. And then this is another waterfall of guest checks because they are, if you do the reverse, you've got the waterfall. Let's see. Yeah, 
kind of a reverse waterfall. I don't know what that would be called. A backed up sink. <laughs> I don't know. And then I've got some more. These are punched from a, I think that's punched from wrapping paper. And that just slides down in there. And I think, I think that had, was pretty effective because it's the same flowers in three different sizes. I like that. I'll have to remember that because I obviously already forgot it. And then I splattered over here with some of my Spectrum Noir markers that match the colors of the journaling pages. Let's see here, I have a belly band, the journaling card that has been stitched and has some lace and a paper ruffle that has been stamped. I have, let's see, glitter marker dotted all over the place. And then there is the back. Washi tape. That's Tim Holtz washi tape. Another coloring page. This pocket has been dry decoupaged on a book page with a napkin. This is a playing card that has been embossed. No, yes, embossed and die cut. And then I used the gold wax, the rose gold wax on there. This is a piece, this is a digital that's been dry decoupaged with another piece of that napkin. Here on the other side is the rest of that book page. I've got a card, a playing card on the front that creates a pocket that holds this little journaling card. This has been stamped and then also has the napkin dry decoupage on it. Some eyelash trim, a oh, hole reinforcer that I punched out of another piece of the kit and added to it, I think. <laughs> Here's another, there's another piece of that um, embossed paper that I made a pocket out of earlier and here I have just punched a tag out of it, added a bulb pin and one of the beads that matches what is on the tassel here. And here it is on the back as well, creating a tab. Let's see, what is this? Oh. Here I have a flip out. This is that same paper with all the words on it. And this also creates a little pocket here. I think I know why I didn't have a video yet because I didn't have the pockets filled. I also have some white pages. But I think I'm just gonna Leave it as it is so that whoever purchases it, purchases it can make it their own. Here I have a belly band with the mica spray painted. Mica spray painted paper. Yes, I said that right. I just cut a strip there. Here I have an index card that I have stenciled and then done water damage on it by spritzing the Distress ink with a bit of water and it leaves these little dots. I have a washi type sticker and I've drawn around the flower that was in the stencil with one of my glitter markers and then added dots around a little phrase just bloom this is actually the picture that's on my phone wallpaper right now and a little gem and then coffee dyed paper on the back and inked around the edges And I think that that is actually a seam, maybe, behind there. I think that's a seam, and this is just covering up the seam. It's a strip of tickets that I have collaged on. And that's the end of Signature 1. Signature 2 is a different stencil, still using the mica sprays. And I think this was the reverse stencil. So this is where I did all this spraying and then sprayed it with water and turned it down on the page and used it like a stamp. And I really like the bleed through on that. I think it's just really pretty. Here I have a giant paper clip and I think it's altered. So I'm gonna pull this card out. This is on beet dyed paper, piece of antique ledger, and then a collage of stickers and a little old fashioned style tie 
with, in, with embroidery floss. And on the back, I just have a piece of stenciled paper covering up something. I don't know. Oh, covering up the back of the yarn so that you can still write on the whole thing. And then here is my large altered paper clip. And I have stenciling and stamping and stickers and lace and inking. I think that's really pretty. I used a lot of Happy Planner stickers in this one. You don't just have to use those for planning. You can use them for a lot of things. Here I have just a little side tuck that has been stenciled and stamped. And I have this tag that is wrapping paper and fabric and then stitching all over it. I think that this was supposed to be a quilted type, type tag. Let's see. Oh, and the whole reinforcer that I punched out and a piece of index paper that I have stamped on. I have a tendency after I make a journal, I just go ahead and list it and I don't really ever look at it again and I'm really enjoying doing this. <laughs> All right, I have a little pocket here and I have a scalloped circle journaling card. This is from the spraying, as is this. And again, I used a lot of my hand dyed papers in here, coffee and tea and beet and avocado. I have not seen any of my uh, red cabbage dyed papers in here yet. Here I have another collage. I have a safety pin with some glass beads on it being held on with staples, piece of a tablecloth, papers, maps, all kinds of things. I think that that's fabric. That is blue fabric back there. I have a tab and I'm turning more pages than one. Oh yes, okay. I made a tab here and collaged on it. And this is, we were supposed to try a new technique that we had never tried before. And this is, I can't remember what she called it, but it's, um, it is a technique that is from Asia that like it's either Japanese or Chinese of repairing things that are broken with gold and it shows the value that broken things still hold. And so I tore apart my map paper and then I pieced it back together and then I went over it with um, foiling glue and used foil on the parts that had been torn apart. I embossed this piece before I put it back in there. And I've got two eyelets up there. Let me take this paper clip off because on the inside it flips out and I've got just some paper here. This was, this is um, beet dyed paper. This is a misprint, but it still works. I have, let's see, that's straw paper, I believe. And then just some different other textures, parchment paper and such on that thing that flips out. And paper clip just goes back on here. This side forms a pocket for this large journaling card that has a washi tape collage on it and is punched on two corners. Here I just have a little sticker collage. It says from the heart. Another coloring page. Here I have, first off in that little belly band, I have a piece of coffee dyed paper that kind of picks up on that one. And then this wraps around the flower and then this opens up. And I've got a sticker collage over here to the side. Scoot this over. And then I have numbers in here. I have washi stickers and then that's a little pocket with the number one. Number two is a little sideways pocket. Number three is a side tuck. And number four is a little bottom corner tuck. Then this opens up. I've got five up here. In this center pocket, 
I've got a piece of the digital kit and an old message pad paper. I think that that one, I don't think that one has a tuck in it. I think that one is just flat on the page. This one is a bottom tuck. And this one again is going to be a side tuck and a top tuck. And, and this one's kind of like a side tuck as well with the nine and then another sticker collage. I do believe that was one of the challenge elements. And then I have some seed beads down here on that string. I have an embossed tab here that's also got the gilding wax on it. I think this is just a collage on this side right here with a piece of scrapbook paper, coffee paper, coffee dyed paper, and one of the stickers. And is it? Yes. And then on this side, I've created a tab on the top just by extending that piece of scrapbook paper and folding it over. Here I have a double tuck, and I've got a flinch card in there, and another journaling card. This envelope flap has been inked. It's got washi tape on it and a gold flower stamped on it. And on this side of the envelope, because this is an envelope flap, on this side, the envelope has An altered ticket and a couple of little pieces of scrapbook paper paper with this tiny little paper clip tucked into that first pocket the second pocket has an altered paper playing altered playing card that I've just punched out the center with a scallop oval and filled with one of the digitals this third pocket here has another of the crazy quilt tags Let's see, and I think that that is, I think I just added that in there to write on, and then this opens up with the inside part of the card right there, and I have stamped and stenciled and inked and all kinds of stuff and not put anything in that pocket that is lined with ledger paper. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, that's why I haven't made the video yet. Empty pockets. Here is another of the pages of the spray stamp. I've got part of that gift bag that I sewed onto this page edge as a ruffle with some lace on the other side. Here is the center of the second signature and I've got these beads on the end of the signature ties. And I've just created some pockets. I cut a piece of the journaling card in angles and then mixed up the pieces and added in these tags for journaling spaces that have been stenciled and some have stamps on them, not stamps, stickers on them. And those are all Happy Planner stickers. And you can see how I've got the four different pieces all mixed together and I, because this one would go here this one would go here and vice versa. And then there's book page also on that ruffle. And then I have this long, long bead. And I have a video for this, for this long funky bead. And it's made from the barrel of an ink pen that ran out of ink. And I have more of those matching beads there and the eyelash trim and uh, some washi tape even. And seed beads are all on the inside and it's held on with a bolt pin. More of Julie's Digital. Another ticket strip collage. Here's another of the library catalog card, library card catalog dividers. These are vintage and I have stamped and embossed on this one. It is really shiny. 
And then I have fussy cut a piece of scrapbook paper. This is an image that's backed on a smaller piece of paper. I don't think that's a pocket. I think that was just to help it stand out. And I've got this piece of fabric. And in the pocket, I have some of my beet dyed paper, just folded up. The back is splattered with ink. Another coloring page. This is one of Julie's pages. Here I have a double belly band that's made out of ribbon ruffles, just like the one that has already been shown in the book, and another journaling card from that splattered ink spray. Here is a pocket that I have made almost all out of washi tape on a business envelope. And I added a couple of, um, let's see, three gems down here, and I used some gold marker and some black ink to accent that pocket. And this is a hidden journaling card. I have gone through, and some of the flowers I used a gold marker and outlined on the front. I've added these three gems. And on the back, I outlined some of the gold flowers with black marker. And this opens up and has a journaling card on the inside. And I had almost forgotten that that's what that was. Because that's kind of the point, is to make it look like it's not what it is. Here's the other side of that envelope. And it's a pocket on this side. And here's the journaling page. And it's all collaged with a piece that I cut off of this card and washi tape and again with the marker and the ink pen and a piece of the inside of the envelope as well. And I think that's the only pocket. I think I glued it all the way down. Here I have a piece of coloring page that's creating this little pocket holding the third crazy quilt tag and creating a tab here and creating a pocket on the back side that has this journaling card and this piece of beet, beet dyed journaling paper. This, let's see, this paper clip is holding on this large piece. And on this side, it's an envelope that I have used to put, let's see, I think that it was a gold texture paste, and then I went through with a little bit of the marker, you could probably see some hints of reddish pink there, and I went over here with a white marker to kind of echo out the waves. I rubbed some more of the rose gold embossing paper on here. And this is actually a floating flap because it goes over the top of the page and then this is on the back side. That's why the gold, the large gold safety pin was there. And so I've got all the different layers. I've got the fabric flip from the gift bag and then this journaling page. And then there's the envelope right there. Here I've got a flip out that's made from an index card backed on that uh, coffee dyed paper and it has been stenciled and has stickers and marker glitter and a little gem and some washi tape on there. Oh, two pages. <laughs> and then here it looks like I have another top tuck made out of that cluster. Yeah. And then this is collaged with, uh, let's see, this is an, a vintage bingo piece, an old piece of lace, and some washi tape. And this is another of the pieces that I took apart or that I cut apart into those angles, but I didn't use them to make pockets like I did previously. I sewed them together and made a flip up. Let's get down here and a flip down, and a flip up, and a flip down. Kind of a Frankenstein flip up, flip down. And then I have guest checks here. This one has been stamped. This is that wrapping paper. And then another guest check that's been stamped. Here's the wrapping paper. And then this 
coffee dyed paper and there's a pocket behind it. Let's see if I did this right. Did I do, 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 there we go. And there is the back of the journal. And there's what it looks like without all the fluff and stuff in it. Oh, and I forgot. <laughs> this right here is just a bunch of silk flowers and one paper flower and a brad, a sparkly gold brad that I have added to the front cover. There we go. That was a lot. That was a lot of stuff that I had forgotten that I had made. And it was a lot of stuff that I had made that I need to remember how to make because I think it was pretty. I think it was really pretty. All right, this was a hot mess video. <laughs> but I do appreciate you sticking through to the end. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, be kind. Bye.